You're on. Hi gang, welcome to Tumbridge Wells Then and Now Film 3. Um, the last film we did we were on what is now known as Victoria Road, which was originally Kensington Street, but today we're going down what was originally Victoria Road, which I think at the moment is called Market Square. I think that's what it's called. So um, yeah, that's what the view looks like now. And uh, years and years ago, about 90, up to about 1989, uh, this is what it looked like. And um, we're currently standing in the doorway of what was Barnard's music shop, Barnard's record shop, many, many years ago. Um, and it's now Rose Stitches. But yeah, we haven't got actually that, in fact, I don't think we've got any shots of this shop when it was barn. I was looking straight at it. The closest one was taken from one of those windows up there. You can kind of pan. <laughs> so we're going to move down. I'm probably going to do this in three parts because I don't think we're going to do all of Victoria Road with all the memories in one film without boring everyone. But um, anyway, we're going to head on down that way. The fantastic thing about doing these films has been the response and the comments that I've got and being contacted by people that I haven't seen for over 45 years. Guys and girls that have now got their own families and, and like me are getting on to the age of 60 and the last time I saw them we were kids at school. Fantastic. So keep, keep the comments coming in and um, I'll try and remember all the memories that I can from coming down here. The first one, which is probably the most important one, is that the entrance to Royal Victoria Place used to be a church and um, when they built the Royal Victoria Place, place around about 1989, uh, they knocked down the church but they kept the face, the facade, and we'll go down and have a look at it. But. Um, yeah, it's, it's still in the original place when it was a church building. I think it was called the Evangelical, no, Calvary Free Church, that's what it was called. And um, coming down here, right about there, there used to be a shop, which we as kids always called the egg shop, because that was pretty much about all it sold. But it was called, uh, I can't quite read that, something and poultry farm. I'm looking at these little small photos of how it used to be. Um, but these are original, obviously that used to be the, um, the ironmongers years ago. I always used to get sent up there by Minan to buy the uh, pink paraffin that they used to sell downstairs. And, uh, but all this is original, which is fantastic, including the lovely tiling at the top. But uh, yeah, this used to come down here and then it used to veer off the road, the original Victoria Road used to veer off to the left around that corner past, as I say, what was the church. And opposite that church, many, many years ago, before I was born, and I'd be interested in somebody coming up, you know, give us a comment to tell me, there used to be a row of houses, and I'd love to know when they were demolished. It was called Francis Terrace. I don't ever remember it, but I've got a couple of photographs of it, which will be coming up on the screen. and. Um, I only ever remember there being a big open car park which was opposite the church um, and right about there I remember there used to be big billboards because I remember Corona, funnily enough, Corona, the fizzy drink being advertised, huge great sea on the billboards there on the poster boards. Um, so yeah there was a shop here, a farm shop um, and there was a shop next door to it but I can't remember what that was but that was where the egg shop was. And um, as I say, that's where the church used to be, and that's the original facade. And um, there's a shot of Francis Terrace, looking down Francis Terrace, and there's also a shot looking out from Francis Terrace. Um, and next to the church, there used to be a shop called Victoria Store, obviously because it was in Victoria Road. I don't ever remember it because next to the church, all I ever remember was an enormous car park that went up to Marks and Spencers. Um, but then right next to this car park was a famous building that was there for the longest time because I've got a photograph of my granddad when he was a young lad standing outside of it called the, what we always used to know as the drill hall but it was the Territorial Army Hall. 
and uh, they used to have jumble sales in there and all kinds of stuff. I remember going there roller skating in later years, but it was originally used for the uh, training and the, the cadets and the Territorial Army doing all their stuff. Um, but as I say, opposite here we would be standing in the car park and before that what was originally Francis Terrace. So if anybody's got any information, as I say, when Francis Terrace was demolished, I'd love to hear from you. Um, so yeah, that used to be the main entrance to the church. You'd go in there, round to the left, up a corridor, and then turn right into the gymnasium where we used to play football. And we used to go to Sunday school there. Uh, and then if we went to Sunday school on the Thursday, we could go to the Thursday club, which is what we all wanted to do as kids, to, to play football and snooker and have a really good time. And it used to be run by a guy called Mr. Bus, and a younger guy called Mr. Martin. And Derek Martin was the minister there, who I met later in years when I started work at White's Bazaar Toy Shop, and he was the managing director of White's Bazaar. And I got caught stealing, and he was also a magistrate, so he took great pleasure in making me really suffer. And I had to pay a fine of 20 pounds, and I needed time to pay it. It was just, looking back, it was funny, but at the time, it was really scary. Yeah, but the road was um, a lot thinner, actually, in those days, so we are probably standing well in the car park. And uh, you had to go up steps to get into the church, and that's now, of course, on a flat level. Um, yeah, there were two or three steps to get up into the church. Um, obviously, on the right was the entrance to Albert Street, which we covered in the last film. And um, it's impossible to try and get your, your bearings because it's just all gone and it's all so different. But the road used to be around to the left, and on the right-hand side was Benson's Scrapyard, which somebody reprimanded me and said, Benson's needs a mention. So we're mentioning Benson's Scrapyard, and we've got a couple of photographs of that, also including uh, one from the local news when they closed the scrapyard. And then just round the corner from that, in Albert Street, was Woods, which was another scrap metal dealer. And we went to that when we were kids and used to get roller skates and all kinds of stuff from that. It is really difficult trying to get the dimensions of what used to be because Albert Street would have come straight up here and they're kind of across there where those so new, they're not new, they've been up there for over 20 years, but there used to be a, a, a few shops and before high time it was a pub. The one right in the corner was a pub called the Volunteer Tavern. I remember it being as a television shop and also they sold antiques and then next door was a telly centre and you could pick up a, a colour telly for 39 quid and it sounded like a real bar. Um, and then there was a sweet shop run by a guy called Scales. Now I was contacted by a girl the other day and I've forgotten her first name, forgive me, I will remember it. Um, and her dad was Fred Scales, and Fred Scales has been brilliant at giving me loads and loads and loads of old photographs of Tunbridge Wells, which I've used in this film and other films. And there, and there used to be a sweet shop next door to Benson's, and they, the guy that ran that, I'm, his name, I'm sure his surname was Scales, must have been related, I'm sure. Um, we're going to end this one now, film three, because the sun's just above the roof and tr if we try and film it we're just going to bleach it right out. But we'll come back and do the rest of Victoria Road in film four. So thanks for watching and keep the comments coming and I uh, look forward to hearing from everyone. Cheers!